Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to tell you about New Zealand's accredited employer work visa process for 2024, which is the most preferred work permit for immigrants. You can work with this visa in New Zealand for five years with an average salary of around 8,200 New Zealand dollars per month or $97,300 per year. And during your work period, you can even apply for your New Zealand PR or permanent residence after working for just two years. Most of the job positions listed are sponsored jobs, so your New Zealand employer pays the cost for your work visa and even your travel, accommodation and food costs. You'll ideally be able to get your work visa in lesser than 60 days and the best part is the New Zealand government has appointed a list of employers called the accredited employers whose main job is to provide employment to overseas candidates such as yourself and there are a lot of job opportunities under this program so you can get a job offer and a work visa through these employers easily and I'm going to show you how you can do this here. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything about the accredited employer work visa, how much you can earn in New Zealand, the targeted jobs list, who can apply for this visa, the cost, processing time, visa duration, what you can do with this visa in New Zealand, if your family members can join you, a list of accredited employers providing this visa, all the requirements, your residency options after getting this visa and how you can apply for this visa as well. So do watch the video till the end. Hey guys, this is Jason from Dream Canada. If you're new to the channel, I show people how to save their money and immigrate to new countries through my videos without the help of any immigration consultants or agents or lawyers. You can find all the process and instructions for you to apply on your own through this channel. Subscribe now because all the information provided here is completely free and I answer all your queries in the comment section and on my social handles on Instagram and Twitter. So don't forget to follow us there as well. You can even get in touch with us directly via WhatsApp on the number shared on the screen. Let's directly start with what the New Zealand Accredited Employer Work Visa actually is. The AEWV, as the name suggests, is a work permit provided by a few selected employers in New Zealand who have been given the authority by the New Zealand government to hire foreign workers to fill up all the job roles from the immense job shortage that New Zealand is currently facing. The visa will be valid for a whole five years and you can apply for your permanent residence along with your immediate family members after working under this visa for just two years. Now, how much can you earn in New Zealand on this visa? The median wage in New Zealand is currently at $29.66 an hour, which is going to increase to $31.61 in February 2024. For this particular visa, it's compulsory for the accredited employers to pay you at least this median wage, so you can be sure of being paid at least these figures once you move to New Zealand on this visa. That being said, the average salary in New Zealand is $8,200 New Zealand dollars per month or $97,300 per year. The average salary in New Zealand's capital city Wellington is at $82,407 New Zealand dollars, while it's around $75,000 in Auckland. Coming to the cost and processing time for this work visa. The cost of the New Zealand accredited work visa is $750 New Zealand dollars. Do note that since this is an employer driven work visa and most of the job positions listed are sponsored jobs, your New Zealand employer pays the cost for your work visa and even your travel and accommodation costs so you don't have to worry about spending anything. The official maximum processing time for this New Zealand work visa is 60 days but this work visa is currently being processed in just 7 weeks or around 49 days. Now can your family members join you and what visas will they get? If you have an accredited employer work visa or an essential skill work visa, your partner can actually get an open work permit and they can work for any employer in New Zealand provided you earn at least the median wage rate or work in a job listed on the green list and earn at least the median wage. The green list is a list of occupations that are usually in continuous shortage or continuous demand in New Zealand. It's typically easier to get a job offer from outside New Zealand for workers in these occupations due to the sheer demand of workers in these fields. I'll add a link to this list in the description box. You can check if your occupation is listed on it. If you have an AEWV or an ESWV and you want to support a student or visitor visa for your dependent children, your annual income must be at least 43,322 New Zealand dollars. Now which jobs are targeted for this visa in New Zealand? Software engineers and developers, cyber security occupations, machine, forklift and crane operators, warehouse and supermarket workers, cashiers, teachers, fruit pickers and farm workers, tile fitters, delivery drivers and transport truck drivers, sales executives, tailors, nail technicians and salon workers, butchers, construction helpers, welders and electricians, carpenters, bricklayers and many more jobs are targeted and these occupations see the most vacancies in New Zealand. Now coming to the very important part which is where you can find these accredited employers. Websites like seek.co.nz, jora.com, 
trademe.co.nz and the common generic job sites like LinkedIn, Indeed, Google Jobs and Glassdoor are the best websites that provide genuine New Zealand job offers. The average time frame that you can expect to get your job offer is after you apply for at least 1 to 3 months. Once you have your job offer, you can check if your New Zealand employer is an accredited employer or not. The New Zealand government has made a list of accredited employers available online to the public on the official New Zealand immigration website and these accredited employers are the only employers in New Zealand with the authority to sponsor overseas applicants like yourself. There's a dedicated tool on the New Zealand immigration website that allows you to check if an employer is accredited or not and it even has instructions on how you can do so. You just have to enter your employer details and the tool will tell you if they are listed as an accredited employer or not. I'll add a link to this tool in the description box below. A very important thing to note is that while applying for jobs, you will need a New Zealand format CV and cover letter, without which you will not receive a job offer or even an interview call. You have to tailor your CV and cover letter according to the New Zealand formats and make sure you edit these documents for each job position that you're applying to. You should use just one font throughout your resume, convert your academic grades to the New Zealand equivalent grades, don't forget to include volunteer work. certifications and licenses if applicable keep your documents ats friendly and add necessary keywords so that your documents are not discarded by profile screening software and add a few other details that should primarily highlight your relevant work and study experiences if you don't know how to make your documents ats friendly you can reach out to us to make a new zealand format cv and cover letter which will of course be at a nominal cost now that you have a job offer and you know that your employer is an accredited employer You can check if you meet all the requirements to apply for your AEWV visa. Firstly, you'll need identity proof which would be a photograph in the required visa formats and a scan of the personal details page of your passport. Next, you'll need a PCC or police clearance certificate from any country that you have lived in for more than 5 years. You'll also need medical test reports to show that you won't be a burden on New Zealand's free healthcare services. You need a job offer from an accredited employer, the details which I've shared before. and you must have the right relevant work experience to justify the job offer you have received now that you know the requirements we come to the steps to apply for your visa the application steps will basically differ based on the country you are applying from but i'll list the steps in general the first step is to of course obtain a job offer from an accredited employer in new zealand your accredited employer will provide the job offer letter along with your employment agreement and simultaneously start applying for your work visa on the new zealand immigration website Immigration New Zealand will then email you a link to your visa application form. You have to then apply online using the link sent to you, upload your documents and pay your visa fee which is 750 New Zealand dollars. Your employer will mostly handle this visa cost. If you or your employer are finding any difficulties while applying, you can have a look at the AEWV application instructions mentioned on the New Zealand Immigration website. I'll of course add a link to this page in the description box below as well. After a complete application has been made, You now just have to wait for your visa decision which typically happens within 7 weeks. All right guys so that was all about the accredited work visa for 2024. For more immigration and travel tips do subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified for new updates. Thanks for watching and all the best for your application.